Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Let's jump right into it, Gil. The Lakers beat the Grizzlies 136 to 124 without Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis logged 52 minutes last night, um, the most minutes he had ever played in his career. And they gave him the night off after an outstanding performance last night, a game in which he had 32 points, 23 rebounds, and four blocks. So he was well deserving of a night off. In his absence, LeBron James, who missed last night's game, was rare, raring to go. He had a triple-double. The Lakers win their fifth game in a row, improved to 41-32. and 32. And without Anthony Davis, Rui was sensational. 32 points on 11 of 14 field goals, a career-high seven made threes, 10 rebounds. LeBron James logged the triple-double. 23 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists, and two steals. D'Lo, 23 points. Torian Prince, 15 points. Jackson Hayes, 14.7 rebounds. Spencer Dinwiddie, 14 points, 7 rebounds. And Austin Reeves, Kobe of the Ozarks, 13 points and 11 assists. Um, Darvin Ham said, Anthony Davis' status for, fr oh, for Friday. We'll see how he's feeling tomorrow when he wakes up. That was a really big win. Uh, this game here, if you lose this game, last night goes away. It's all for naught. Yeah, you, can't beat, you can't beat Milwaukee, the number two team in the East, with their full roster. And then turn out and, and turn around and lose to the uh, Grizzlies. So I'm glad they came out with the right mindset, with the right intensity, and was able to pull this game out. But what did you like about what you saw from the Lakers in this game when they got the win, 136 to 124? I mean, this is one of those games where you're right. It, they, there was no, they shouldn't have lost this game, right? That's what this, these are one of the games that's really important to um, the road trip, right? Yes. You can't start the road trip off with a loss against one of the weakest teams right now in the West. So this was a great, great win. Um, it, it really shows that games that they need to win against weaker opponents, they do step up to the challenge. I mean, the end of that third did look rough. It looked rough. Um, it looked like one of those games where you're up 18 um, and then end up somehow losing that game. But, you know, mm -hmm. they came out in the fourth, hit two quick threes, and, and just kept that lead going. So it was great to see these guys bounce back after that devastating uh, in the third quarter. You know what, Gil? I was thinking, and this is what's so frustrating about the Lakers. Now think about this. They beat the Boston Celtics. They went to Boston mm -hmm. and beat the Celtics without LeBron. Yep. They beat Milwaukee twice. Without LeBron. Mm -hmm. This is what makes you upset, but this also what gives you hope because you know they can beat anybody in a series. I don't think they can beat the Nuggets, but they can beat anybody else in the West in a seven-game series mm -hmm. because we watched them go on the road and beat Boston without LeBron. We watched them go on the road and beat Milwaukee without LeBron. Beat Milwaukee in L.A. without LeBron. I just it, it, and I think the thing is, you look at Anthony Davis. He's plays the lion's share of the games this year. You yep. cannot you look. There have been a few games here and there, but with his overall performance, you have to be pleased. If you're a Laker fan, you have to be pleased with what Anthony Davis is giving you. He's giving you about 25 points, about 12 and a half, 13 rebounds on a nightly basis, giving you somewhere between two and three blocks on a night. So you can't be disappointed. Yeah, I know a game here or there. He had. 10 points and two rebounds. Yeah, I get that. But overall, his complete body of work, Gil, you have to be pleased with what you saw. LeBron has been LeBron. LeBron yeah, he, is LeBron. He's shooting 50-plus percent from the floor, giving you 25 on a nightly basis, seven and eight. But what is it? What You see this like, bro, y'all realize y'all beat Boston? Y'all realize y'all beat Milwaukee twice? Mm -hmm. How you lose to teams that bottom feed them? You know so what what happens, and I don't know if it happens in football, but the the media does it a lot with us. When a team wins without their star player, they always throw that narrative. They're better without them, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what, what happens is this: there are certain players that respect the guy so much that when he's in the lineup, they they're docile. Right. So, you know, when when 
I see it a lot with, with D'Lo. When LeBron is not there, he knows 100% he has the, the, the game under control. He gets to play free basketball. When LeBron is on the court, he's looking for LeBron the whole time. What is LeBron doing? Is he is he clapping for the ball? Any noise that goes, he's looking to see if LeBron does one of those. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those second natures that happen with players. It's like the fanboy in them. Right. It's like when, when you play with Kobe, right? And you, okay, Kobe hasn't shot the ball in two times. Where's he at? Instead of you just playing your game and letting the star player find his way, right. you know, those players lose themselves when LeBron is on the court. Has nothing to do with LeBron. It's just it's it's a personal thing for themselves, right? Because we look at Le uh, D Lo when they play Milwaukee at home. D Lo goes for forty four mm -hmm. in complete control, making three. Boom, boom, boom. Um, last night he was sensational. Last night, and you remember Gail in the play in tournament. Was it play? Nah. No, nah, it was uh they played the uh the Warriors last year and he come down the Lakers had this nice lead and he comes down and turned the ball over like three times in a row and all of a sudden Golden State is making a comeback and without hesitation he comes down on a one on four and lets a three go get the game back. I'm like, bro, yeah. you just played like two minutes of the worst basketball in the history of the NBA, and then you come down with with Ice, I'm talking about freezing water in your veins and let a three go over the one on three. And usually he would have been subbed out by then with the three turnovers and, a, and it would have ruined his mentor. They couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't get him out again. <laughs> yeah, right? He would have been, get, get on up out of here. But the <laughs> fact that he did take that three kind of lets you know mentally where he's at. Yes. You know, we just needed more. We need the relentless. We need the ice vein d -low, you know, when we come to the playoffs. And so far, we haven't had that guy against Denver. Right. I think the thing is, Gil, I think once the trade deadline came and went, he was able to relax mm -hmm. because he's been sensational. This is, might be the best stretch of basketball other than the year that he went to the All-Star game when he was in Brooklyn. This might be the best stretch of basketball that he's played. And he, he's, a, he's a good player. I mean, he's there's something about them left-handed guys, man. They just they got that herky-jerky, man. I mean, they start, stop, and they smooth with it. They got the float game going. I mean, he's been, he's been unbelievable. Yeah, him and him and what's so funny is him and AD pick and roll is phenomenal. Yes, and that's why I said last week, if I'm if I'm playing against like moving into the playoffs, I want Anthony Davis and and D'Lo to play like Murray and Jokic and let LeBron find a way on how to be dominant. Right. You know, the the Anthony Davis, LeBron pick and roll, that ain't that ain't the style right now. Right. Um, that, ain't, that ain't it right now. So you need that guy who can probe and do all that and find people. So I'm liking the word where D'Lo is right now. Yeah, I think they had seven or eight guys in double figures. Rui, LeBron, D'Lo, Prince, Hayes, Dinwiddie, Reeves. So they had seven guys. All the, uh, all the guys that played at least 10 minutes, Gil, had double figure points. Yeah, all the good players, everybody who don't supposed to be playing didn't score like like, <laughs> like <he> should be. <laughs> but uh, you look at uh, Jackson Hayes gave him quality minutes last tonight. Torian mm -hmm. Prince played really really well. Uh, Dinwiddie came off. Dinwiddie, uh, uh, he he's been getting it going lately. He's been getting it going, and I, I like to see that. Yeah, he's found he's found his way. Um, we, we're we we're, we're really gonna um, need him in the playoffs to to mm -hmm. beat. One on one guy who can create offense, you know, when there's basically a stalemate uh, against that defense, you know, uh, when they're cutting cutting players off, you know, when they're focusing right. on LeBron, when they're focusing on AD, you know, Reeves can't get it on. We we have a guy who can create one on one um, mismatch problems. So you know, I did like that pickup by them. Yeah, and he's he's played well. He's played well. This was a very good win um, for the Lakers. They followed it up. Uh, they consolidated in the tennis. They say when you break a when you break serve, can you consolidate it on your own serve? Can you win that game on your serve? Now yeah. you've done something. Now you go two games up as opposed to losing the serve on, after you just broke serve. So they yeah. were able to consolidate this win. Win a big game against Milwaukee on the road. Go on the road again. Uh, uh, actually, it was a back to back. It was back to back. Yeah. And think about all the minutes that Reeves played, all the minutes that Dinwiddie played, all the re uh, minutes that uh, D'Lo played. Ruin, and they were still able to come back and give you and give you a, a great effort tonight. I like what I'm seeing for the Lakers. 
We'll mm-hmm. see if they can uh, flip the switch. They get a night off, get some rest, get some food in them, and let's see if they can follow it up, get five in a row uh, uh, Friday night. No, no, yeah. Listen, this is this is one of those stretches where uh, this is a favorable schedule for us, you know, towards the end of the season. You know, we have some winnable games, and even some of the tough teams, they might be resting players at that moment in time. So I like our schedule right now. And when I say like our, look, I've been a Laker fan since I was little, right? Since <laughs> so this, I'm a Laker fan. <laughs> 